Good evening, and welcome to Cocktails in Literature. My name is Justin, and tonight we're going to discuss the satirical novel Bonfire of the Vanities by Tom Wolfe, published in 1987. To give you a little background information as far as where we are in the novel at this point, Arthur Ruskin is going to have dinner with Peter Fallow. Arthur Ruskin is 71 years old, and he has been advised by his doctors to no longer imbibe in alcohol. He's going to go on to regale about how he rose and then subsequently lost his fortune. I'm going to read you a little excerpt from chapter 26, which is titled Death, New York Style. At night, the dining room was well lit and seemed much more garish than at lunchtime. The dinner crowd seldom had the social cachet of the lunch crowd, but the place was packed nonetheless and was roaring with conversation. Fallow could see cluster after cluster of men with bald heads and women with pineapple colored hair. The procession stopped beside a round table that was far bigger than any other, but was as yet unoccupied. A captain, two waiters, and two busboys were buzzing about, arranging stemware and silverware in front of every place. This was evidently Madame Chikaya's table. Immediately opposite it, was a banquette under the front windows. Fallow and Ruskin were seated side by side on the banquette. They had a view of the entire front section, which was all that any true aspirant for the high ground of La Boue d'Argent required. Ruskin said, you want to know why I like this restaurant? Why? asked Fallow. Because it's got the best food in New York and the best service. Ruskin turned and looked Fallow squarely in the face. Fallow could think of no adequate response for this revelation. Oh, people talk about this social stuff, said Ruskin. And sure, a lot of well-known people come here. But why? Because it's got great food and great service. He shrugged, no mystery to it. Raphael, the maitre d', reappeared and asked Ruskin if he cared for a drink. Oh Christ, said Ruskin, smiling. I'm not supposed to, but I feel like a drink. You got any Cabossier VSOP? Oh yes. Then give me a sidecar with the VSOP. A sidecar. Classic cocktail invented around the end of World War I. Nobody knows exactly who really invented it, but Harry's Bar in New York in Paris, France has laid claim to it. And they state that they originated the cocktail right around the same time that they invented the French 75 and the Bloody Mary. Fun little tidbit before we go forward into actually making the sidecar itself as far as Harris Bar New York is concerned. Harris Bar New York in Paris is mentioned in another little fun story titled From a View to a Kill, which is a short story by Ian Fleming published in 1960. And in that story, you get a little background information on a young James Bond who at 16 years old went to Paris, France for the first time. Bond got in a cab, said Saint Rudinou, which is the actual real life address of Harry's Bar in New York. He went to the bar, got drunk, and that night, for the first night of his life in Paris, France, he lost his virginity. James Bond lost his virginity, thanks to Harry's Bar in New York. As far as cocktails and literature is concerned, the sidecar has a double entendre, if you will, for us, which I thought would be a lot of fun. But um, sidecar itself, beautiful drink, easy to make. Two ounces of cognac. Cognac is a brandy made in Cognac, France. We're gonna use Cavossier for two reasons. One, because I really like it. And two, because that's what Arthur Ruskin ordered. So we're gonna do two ounces of Cavossier VSOP Cognac. The whole cocktail itself is cognac, triple sec, and lemon juice. So Cavossier, two ounces there. For the triple sec component, triple sec is an orange-based liqueur. For the triple sec component, you can use Cointreau. I usually use Cointreau or I use Beauchamp. So now we're gonna use the Beauchamp, but either one will suffice. I both have both in my liquor cabinet. I love them both. Well, this is what we're gonna use this evening as far as our triple sec component. 
After the two ounces of cognac, we are going to do three quarters of an ounce of the triple sec Beauchamp. Take our lemon half. Like I said, fresh lemon goes in this as well. You want, just like the triple sec, you want three quarters of an ounce of fresh lemon. Go. And then to balance out the citrus component, you're gonna do exactly three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup as well. One more. So to recap, two ounces of cognac, we're using Kowalski ABSOP. Three quarters of an ounce of triple sec, we use the Beauchamp. Three quarters of an ounce of fresh lemon. Then three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup to balance it out. I'm gonna cover that. I'm gonna shake this. So it combines nicely. And then we're gonna pour it. into our champagne coupe. Fresh lemon twist to go along with this. So I say to James Bond and to Arthur Ruskin, cheers. Read the book, enjoy the cocktail, salute.